Victoria. Mm. Have I ever told you how beautiful you are when you are the red? Don't distract me, darling. I'm in cerebellum. <laughs> this is a total microchip replacement of the cerebral function. Edward, you are a genius. Not everyone would agree. Don't forget, the New England Journal of Medicine called me mad. No, darling. The phrase they used was morally bankrupt. No one could impugn your mental abilities. <laughs> Ready to close. I'm home. But you're... you're dead. I must be hornier than I thought. You and me both, Pumpkin. I've thought a lot about you, Vicky. This can't be happening. That's what I said when my plane went down in the headwaters of the Mama Negra. By then, both sides of the conflict wanted me dead. So... I let them think I was. <laughs> Sorry I couldn't write, Honeypot. It's tough being the wife of a soldier of fortune. Wait, you've been hiding out for seven years in the jungle alone? Well, not exactly. You see, this tribe of Indians pulled me out of the river. Never seen a white man before. Classic stuff. I'll tell you, Vicky, there are worse things in this world than being worshipped as a god by a tribe of fun-loving naked people. <laughs> so why did you come back? I miss civilization. Oh. Burgers and fries and automatic weapons. My wife. Oh, I can't believe you're not dead. There's no justice in this world. Does this feel dead to you? Back off, hunk. I haven't said I'm glad to see you. Oh, you don't have to, sweet cheeks. Let your body do the talking. <laughs> Get your paws off of me, you fat-headed dimwit. Hunk! 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 got no head. Wait, did I do that? No, I did. And it's a parrot for your information. You think a man who lives seven years in the jungle would know a parrot when he sees one? Well, in a jungle, they come with heads. Too bad you don't. You panicked, Hunk. An unattractive emotion panic. Good morning, darling. Perhaps you'll introduce me to your beachcombing friend? Edward, this is... Billy, Uncle. I should have known. Hunk. Eddie. Hey, Eddie, check out the bird. He's got no head. Very perceptive. In fact, Hunk, that was my bird. That's five years of my life skewered on your pocket knife. <laughs> no joke. Well, I guess a guy like you has got nothing better to do than chop the heads off of little birds. I'll get some coffee. So tell me, Hump, uh, to what do we owe the dubious pleasure of your return from the dead? Huh? 
What do you want? Oh, Vicky. I want her back. Oh, I see. <laughs> Hunk, uh, I'm aware that you hold some, or, or rather, I should say, held some animal attraction for Victoria. But I think you find that she and I have a relationship that... Whoa, whoa, whoa. Relationship? <laughs> Eddie, Eddie. When you live in a jungle, you learn a thing or two about what really counts. You see... A thing ain't worth squat unless you can jump on it, eat it, or pick your teeth with it. There are no relationships in the jungle. Only hunger. This isn't the jungle. Don't kid yourself, Ed. Here we are. Ah, great. I like my sugar. Oh, Vicky remembers. Don't you, sugar? But I don't want to see him. I don't want him in this house. Darling, we've never lied to each other. Let's not start now. I don't know what to think. What Hunk and I had was very... Intense, very physical. I loathe him, but my body has a mind of its own. He's in my system like a drug. We might as well face it. You're addicted. Oh, Edward, I'm so sorry. What am I going to do? Let me handle this. I gotta admire you. I don't know how you do it, Eddie. Going on day after day, stuck in that chair, all weak and shaky. Well, at least I have Victoria to take care of me. Afraid not. Vicky's leaving with me. I saw it in her eyes this morning. No! Oh, look, Eddie, Eddie. You're a nice guy. Well, let's face it. You're a crip. Oh, sure, sure. You can ask her to stay. And maybe she will. Out of loyalty or pity. But is that what you really want? Watching her year after year shriveling up inside like, a, like an old banana leaf? Oh, no. I won't let you do it to her. I love Vicky, and Vicky loves me. I'll fight you for her if I have to. Oh! Hunk. How can I fight you? You have everything to offer her. I have nothing. Perhaps the best I can do is make it easy for her. I've often thought of ending it all. Now you're talking. I've had this gun in the house for years, but I never thought of firing it. I believe the ammo, as you'd call it, is in the top of the hall closet. They're real easy to load. Hey, I can reach it down for you. Strange, I, I'm not really afraid of dying. In a way, I, I, I could welcome it. Oh, yeah. And then you'd be out of Vicky's hair. She could have everything. This, this house, all this stuff, your fortune. The only thing I'm afraid of is botching the job. I wouldn't want to survive the attempt. Gotcha. Clean and neat. Right. Yeah. Yeah. You, you're, you're a killer, huh? Show me how you do it. 
It's an art, Eddie. Some people, they go for a temple. Others, they go for under the chin. Me, personally, I put my money on the old mundo. First, take off the safety. Then, insert it. Pointing up. Eh? Oh, and then you just pull the trigger? Yes, don't yank it. Yes, squeeze gently. I'm watching. I know. Perfectly. But poor hunk, though. Oh, my God. I, tr I tried to stop him. But why? He was so despondent. No, I mean, why did you try to stop him? This really is for the best, don't you think? Victoria, you never cease to amaze me. But what will we do with him? Well... Hurry, darling. This heat is doing honk no good. All secure. <sighs> I don't think this is going to do it. No. That's it. You, you've got it now. Oh, all right. Well, there's a certain justice in this, wouldn't you say? Considering how he negated our work with Polly. There's so much we still don't understand about the nervous system. I hope we're not making a mistake. Oh, there's nothing more instructive than a healthy mistake. realize how much goes into a simple act like pouring. It took me a week to get that right. Hunk was always a slow learner. It's not Hunk anymore, my sweet. We should think of it as the Robo Butler. Yes. It will be my legs, my hands. I hope he'll be a more reliable butler than he was a husband. Thank you, Hunk. That will be all. Edward, I can't explain it, but I have a bad feeling about this. Some feminine intuition? Oh, come, come, Victoria. One would hardly know that you're a scientist. Let me show you what I've been working on. I've got it programmed for the moonwalk. The swim. And the waltz. I know how much you love to dance, my darling. It would give me great pleasure to waltz with you by proxy, as it were. Really, Edward, I do not see the point of dancing with a... Oh, go ahead, try it out, darling. Please. All right. <laughs> 